Bonjour ni hao! Welcome back to the Game Boys channel. I'm Johnny. And I'm Tim. And today we're here with a Shop, Shop with, with Us, us and, and Hope video. So yeah, we just kind of thought we would do a Shop With Us video because you guys seem to really like it and we have fun doing them. So I had to do some errands and get my hair cut and things. So Johnny came along. We didn't go to as many stores as we'd like. Um, mainly because we didn't have time, but also like try to shop with this guy. My God, he tries to be like, all right, I'm done. All right, I'm going to go sit on the bench. Oh, man. I, I do sit on the bench. Old man. Well, you'll see. I included some footage of stuff that I shopped with. <laughs> yeah, so um, we're going to try to hopefully do another shop with this video where we could go to like Primark and like Marshall's and maybe like box lunch or something. Yeah, we thought we would take you along. So we did go to Target. That, yeah. We went to Ross, which is like the first time we've been there in forever. And then we went to Costco. So um, we're not gonna show our Costco haul because it's like mostly groceries. But, but like, if that's something you guys want or like like to see, because we've seen a lot of videos, comment down below and let us know. Well, and also, thank you if you've been following Tim on his socials. Uh, he posted a lovely story the other day talking about what foods to try at Costco. And many of you commented, and we actually bought a few of the things mm -hmm. that you s suggested. So that was really exciting. Yeah, so that was nice. So yeah, here it is. We're gonna show you our Shop With Us video. Come along. So we started off at Target and of course, the five dollar spot is the first place you always go they have these really cute sleighs and a bunch of stockings and things to just decorate your house with oh my god look at these little gold things if you watched our last video you'll see that tim found like some christmas ball ones but these are like cute little star sippers and then they had this like mug of santa's boots which if you paint that you can make it toy story and then they had like this Santa cookie jar, which was cute. And then some tree thing. There's a snake in my boot. Is that a fish? Oh, it's a light. Mistletoe. Oh, that's what this is? Yeah. Oh. Oh, this one's cute. They have so much stuff. What a bright time. It's the right time. And then they had tons of like letter ornaments and other just random things. Tons of decor items. Oh, this is cute. Not cute enough to buy, but... And then they had these little trees that were from TikTok. Like, tons of people were doing stuff with these. I was tempted to get it, but did not. And then they had a bunch of just, like, cute little storage containers that are Christmassy. The pet thing was pretty poppin'. We ended up getting one of these for Tati's dry food. And we of course got the paw one because this is the dog one. But I thought that was neat that it was in the $5 spot. Can't go wrong with that. Oh, I got one of these. These are cute. Oh, I got one of these. These are cute. What is that? It cuts paper. Uh-oh. <laughs> Walt. Waltz would never allow oh. this. Oh my, sheer bell bottoms. Eee. I thought these were advent calendars for a second, but I think they're just socks kits. But look at all the different ones they have. And then I think I also saw a princess one and I, oh, and a Spider-Man one, that's cute. Ah, 
myself to myself. And then they had this classic Coca-Cola section and some really cute cat sweatshirts and dog sweatshirts. And then they have these cute little trees that are just like kind of random placements that you would put in your house. And I've never seen gingerbread houses done on display at Target. So that's cool. I guess the employees do that. And then they have these tinsels for a pretty good price. I still would recommend going to Five Below though. So they have those for $3. And they had tons of ornaments bunch of kind of like classic ones mis mixed with pop culture ones Eeyore which is cheaper at five below by the way and then they had like a bunch of little reindeer things you could find these for cheaper and better quality at Marshall's though honestly <laughs> just walking down the aisles and a bunch of other ornaments wreaths Christmas things, countdowns, and I think those things sing. I don't know why I didn't press them, <laughs> but yeah, I love a countdown. Can't believe Christmas is in four days. What is happening? Like little 2022 ornaments. I couldn't get that out, but you'll see this in our haul. Really cute. Little evil queen crown and then some candy canes people go wild decorating their like pathways with those um, Anna and Elsa but really Olaf and Sven <laughs> speaking of Olaf they have this really cute cuddlies this is the sad Disney store section in Target <laughs> it's literally like this end cap only but like Olaf so cute and then they didn't have that many durables. It was pretty sad. I don't love those car ones. And there's Johnny. And they have these really cool Etch-a-Sketches, which definitely bring you back to childhood. And Toy Story vibes, faux show. Sure. Coming over here, cause I was like, ooh, I see a bunch of things, Baymax. But they were like all gone. And then they have this Maleficent t-shirt two-pack, which I haven't seen. Is this a fanny pack? That's weird. <laughs> That's funny. And then they had like these vintage plushies. This was a daisy. They had mini and a bunch of... And these are $16.99? And then they had this cute little Groot. Oh my god, there's so many cute movie moments. I like that one with the thing. And this one's super cute because it's like a little castle. Tim could make like a escape if you like top of Harry Potter. And then what else did I see that I liked? Oh yeah, I had never seen some of the Marvel Moon Knight pops that they have. Or the Ms. Marvel one. Or some of the Black Panther exclusives. Always love pop -ups. Treat by this zero. It like lights up. I don't know what else it does. This is all it does. It looks like it's trying to move. I don't get it. What does it do? Or is this all it does? It just lights up. Maybe it doesn't move. <laughs> oh my god, how cute is this lamp? Like a little desk lamp that looks like a piranha plant that's like posable. How cute is that? So that doesn't give the best light, but it's so cute. And look, there's another one. Oh, these are cute little planters. And then they have these like knockoff lounge flies that are Pokemon and Kirby, which are interesting. And then we went to Ross and they had Dorables, which I was shocked. They had a bunch of Disney mugs and like a bunch of just houseware things, some whisks and things to bake with. I was like, oh, this isn't Disney. Why am I picking this up? <laughs> but it was cute. Like, love little miniature things. And then they had more of those icing things, little whisks. 
They have like actually really cute stuff at this Ross. I haven't really been in Ross. Spoon rest. Huh? That's cute. That actually matches our kitchen. Oh, that's cute. Spoon rest. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's a Mario gift set that includes this cute Yoshi cup, a coaster, and this like keychain. Oh, that's so fun. I wonder how much this is. Oh, $8. Would have expected to pay five. 33? Or what happens if you do this? SE2? I don't know. They had really cute, like, little apron things, uh -oh. which were interesting. <gasps> I haven't seen anything like that before. They had a lot of cute ones. And then they had tons of awesome towels. Tons of Disney ones. Really, really cute. And then, yeah, that was like a towel with hand sanitizer. Very weird. And this one was really cute. I wish I would have got that one. And then more spoon rest. Oh, what's this? Try me. Oh my gosh, I like really, I think I had one of these kits as a kid or like I wanted one as a kid. No wait, I had the thing that like you would pull the trigger and the cars would go like with the little electricity. I don't think I ever had a Hot Wheels set like this. That's cute. Uh-oh, Mini. Oh. Oh my. Thomas, where our story belongs. He just says you're drunk. <laughs> oh God. Why are these all like lenticulars? Hurt my eyes. Okay. Oh, that's just a place. And then I'm kicking myself for not getting this. How cute is this little door placement? It's cute though. Oh, it lights up. I think it would be too big for our village. Oh, it would, but we could, we could put it around our tree. And then they try to get you with all this cool candy when you're checking out Girardelli's. And then they had this like Disney gingerbread house. So I saw this Thomas Kincaid and you know me and sound and lights. I pressed this because look, my cookies can play music now. This is very aggressive for cookies and for shortbread cookies. And now we are in Costco. Just looking at all the cool Christmas finds. Again, candy canes. Wish we had a house so we could do that. Little like Princess and the Frog toys. Those wet brushes. Comment down below if you use wet brushes. We see them all the time, but like, do people actually use those? I don't get what they are. And then like Christmas decor galore rhymes. Super cute trees. Love. So they have like things, money banks, a big ornament. I like the green one better. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. These didn't sell. No asterisk. Uh oh. Still don't have those gym shorts. Oh, these jumbo gift bags. <laughs> she did a really good job of selling this. Look, you get all these cards for like $19. These are like really great cards. These are like papyrus cards that like would be so like $10 each. So I love this. And actually, you can look in the back and you can see all the cards that are available. And something Tim and I recently learned is that if there's an asterisk, it means that it's, it's Then they have this cool, like, Infinity Saga Groot Lego set. And they had a lot of Pokemon puzzles. And then this was awesome, a Funko Pop 4 set. 
The only difference is it glows in the dark, but we have all four individually. And if you like Squishmallows, Costco is the place to go for sure. And then we did get this um, bath bomb set. Not worth it. Um, hello, yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And then lastly, we had to show these Mickey apples. All right, so as you've seen, there's been a lot of cool stuff, especially at Target. You know, we're a sucker for the $5 spots. Um, so first I'm going to show, we did get two of these. So I wanted one for like Funkos to display on, and then I wanted one to hang, cause it's like a hanger. But it is the like sled or ski thing. It's a sleigh. And this was $5. But like super good quality and super cute. These would actually fit like tons of adorables on there as well. But I mean, once you see something at the $5 spot that you like, you're gonna have to snatch it up because it will not be there in a couple weeks. So something Tim showed in an earlier Shop With Me video and haul this year were these like cute little sacks. And we found that they're great for like gift wrapping items that are like unconventional in size. And so they had a bunch of different patterns, but when we just went, they only had like this one. <laughs> and so uh, we just grabbed them all. Because as Tim said, you never know when something's not gonna be there. So we think of like five of these, six maybe, of these like Happy Holiday Santa sacks, which are super cute. So we have one, two, three, four, five of these. And then Tim also saw these like little mini ones, which are good for like other little smaller gifts. And so we got one in each color like this. I love this one. And then this Merry Christmas one. Yeah, I will say these um, actually fit lounge flies perfectly. So we're going to put some of our Christmas lounge fly bags to put in storage inside these so they're protected. Mm -hmm. And yeah, those are good if you're like doing a box swap or just giving Storage. someone. Yeah. yeah, they're kind of like, they could be stockings or sacks or whatever as well. Okay, in that same $5 spot, I saw this cute like ornaments, but it is of like a wrapped tree. I'm not going to use this as an ornament. I just thought this would be perfect for one of our displays. And I mean, it's only a dollar. This is the last one they had. I would have probably got more. So I'm actually going to put this right here. For now. I don't know if that's going to stay there. But, um, and then I saw something that was awesome in the Target, like Christmas section. It was only $3, but this is the exact same crown that the Evil Queen has. <laughs> So I just thought that would be a neat ornament for us to have. And it's so pretty. I wonder if it would fit on Tati's head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, would, glitter would probably get all over I know. So something that Tim and I love eating around the holidays are like the Giardelli peppermint squares, but uh, especially the peppermint bark. But then I realized they have other flavors. So we thought we would try those. Mm -hmm. They were having like a buy one, get one, like 50% off sale at Target. So we have the traditional peppermint bark ones, which I've had these before and these are great. We yeah, got those are our favorite. The what? These are your favorite? No, the ones you just showed. Oh, those are our favorite. Yes. I've we I've never tried the gingerbread ones. Tim, have you? No. So we're excited to try these. And then I haven't had the sugar cookie ones before, but Tim's I had them last year, they're really good. And Tim really liked them, so because I assumed I would like them, we got two packs. They're really, really sweet though, so if you don't like sweet, they're sugar cookie, so. All right, and then the two last things we got at Target that weren't like grocery related, we got some bowls for Tati. Not exciting, but we saw this really cute sugar, or not sugar, gingerbread on like a cooking pan ornament in the $5 spot as well. I love this so much, so it's gonna go on our tree. And then lastly, I found this Etch-a-Sketch, but it's like a tiny version. So I'm gonna maybe try to write Game Boys on there, and then we're gonna put it in our Toy Story 
background shelf portion once, you know, all the Christmas stuff is gone. All right, and then next we went to Ross. We were gonna go to Burlington, but from the way we were walking, Ross was first. And then after we were done at Ross, like my haircut appointment was ready. So like we didn't have time to go to Burlington, but they have like a lot of fun um, decorations and things for cheap. So this is David Tutera bows. Comment down below if you know who that is or if you used to watch his wedding shows. But like, I'm all for these ones because I'm not talented enough to do those other bows. And then I just thought these tags were cute. You know, the red fire truck and the Coca-Cola and everything is so nostalgia. Something that we forgot to show from our Target haul was, this was in the dollar section, and I used to have these like Christmas wrapping paper cutter things uh, like years ago, but I haven't gotten one. They tend to wear out quickly, but I just thought I would give it a try again because I haven't tried it. And then the last thing we purchased from Ross is something that we've kind of like, I don't know, since I'm going to be doing the Christmas Village all Disney, like we thought this would have been good for that. But then we're like, if it doesn't work out, like we know that people put trains under their Christmas trees. So yeah, Tim saw this battery operated train set from Mickey and it was $30? Yeah, it was it's originally 40, but we got this oh, for 29.99. It's not that great of a deal. No, it was only 10. Was but you know, it's we'll see. And it makes sounds. So, this is a battery operated train set and there's the engine, there's a thing, there's two trees, a car, a club car. Is that a club car? Let's say it's a club car, because that's where I would be. And the caboose. And there it all is together. And so it shows how long the track is. It says it's 65 by 41 loop of track. So I think that's like a rectangle. Mm -hmm. Right? I don't know. Okay. I don't know that. And then it has a sound. Oh, no, it says an engine and tender. What's a tender car? Comment below. Uh, passenger car. Gondola with tree load and a caboose. So maybe there isn't a club car. But then it says, it says steam shuffling, whistle bell, and three custom Mickey Mouse announcements. I'm surprised that it only takes two AA batteries, but we'll uh, maybe do a TikTok and see how this looks. Yeah, so John's probably going to put this together, so I'll film him doing that in some capacity. But it is fun because it has, like, different sounds, so it does make the, like, Whistle, bell, steam shuffling. There is three custom Mickey Mouse announcements. So he'll be like talking like all aboard or like whatever they say like when the park opens. I don't remember what they say. I don't know. Yeah. So that's fun. Um, things that we got from Costco. Like they had these really cool um, Girl Scout cookie pretzels. Oh, the card box. I love the card box. The card box was a cool find. And then there was stuff that like we already picked up, which we showed in our other haul. So we'll link that above and below, but we got these nutcrackers there. But yeah, that is it. If you like these type of videos, please let us know. And if you like this, uh, well, obviously give us a thumbs up. Yes, and if you're not a subscriber and enjoy it, pop culture, Disney, lifestyle, and game-related content, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't find our future videos. And if you are a subscriber, thanks so much for joining us today. We can't wait to see you in tomorrow's vlogmas video. Take care and be well. Bye. Bye.